You know, one of the things that I get asked quite a bit, and I've seen a lot of discussions out on some different forums online and even here on, uh, on the channels throughout YouTube, is talking about self-defense when you're out into the wilderness. That's what we're going to talk about coming up. Hey team, welcome back to the channel, man. As always, I'm stoked to see you. So again, we're talking about some self-protection, self-defense when you're off into the wilderness, whether you're talking about doing some dispersed camping, whether you're talking about doing just some bushcraft and camping with your family. Let me know down in the comments below what kind of self-defense measures you take. In particular, we're talking about packing heat. Do you need to pack a firearm when you're off moving through the woods? I was recently talking to some folks who said that they're up in the Olympic National Forest and they came across, uh, they heard a tale of this dude who came across a, a guy who's off, you know, living feral in the woods. He came up to the campfire and kind of scared the crap out of him. And so he kind of bugged out. So you hear tales like this all the time of feral and wild people who are living out there. Of course, you got different animals that you, need, you should be concerned about as well. And so a lot of folks are concerned, hey, maybe I'm, I'm a, a young single female or, or just a, a single female out camping. I'm a single dude out there camping. Whatever the case is, you know, what kind of considerations do I need to take into account for when we're putting together our packing list and we're trying to get ready to go off into the woods? I, as you've seen, enjoy getting deep into the woods on my own. I get out and do some solo camping, I mean, I've been 30 miles as a crow flies between me and anything that might be of assistance to me, should the case need it. And that means that there's no cellular data, right? No cell phones at all. If you got a sat phone, maybe you got something going on. But for most of us, we don't have a, a sat phone, right? So we have no way of communicating out there with anybody should anything happen. So there's a lot of considerations that we need to take into consideration when it comes to, to safety, right, and risk mitigation. And that's what, really what we're talking about, is how do we mitigate risk when we're out here moving through some areas that, that we don't know what we're going to encounter. And so prior to actually going out, what we need to start doing is doing a better job of analyzing our operations. Again, whether going out for a day hike, whether we're going out for just a, a short you know, a, a long day hike, an overnight, several days of camping, whatever it is, start analyzing and doing your mission planning prior to moving out. What are the risks that you can encounter while you're out? Talking about on the roadside, getting out there while you're out and on your way back. Identify those risks. A lot of people think that there is a heavy risk out there of needing a firearm. I mean, look, man, I don't care if you want to pack a, pack a pistol or not. I don't care if you want to go out with a shotgun or not. That's between you and you and the Second Amendment. You know, you feel what I'm saying? I mean, come on. But as I analyze my risk when I'm going out, I'm really not concerned about two-legged creatures, right? That's not really not on my radar at all. Is it a risk? Yes, of course it's a risk. But the likelihood of encountering a two-legged creature who means me harm is slim to nil. I'm probably more likely to come across a bear or a large cat. Now those things I am a little bit more concerned about. Uh, but there's some different ways to mitigate those risks as well. Again, whether we're running some bear lines, keeping food away from us. Being cautious of where we camp in regards to water sources and other food sources that some of these predators may be looking for, right? We need to take all of this in as we're doing our mission planning. So do you need to pack a pack of heat? Man, I don't know. Again, that's up to you and where you are at and what kind of mindset in the group that you're in going after and, and what your goals and objectives are. I can't sit here and tell you that you should or that you shouldn't. And I'm not gonna tell you quite point blankly whether or not I do or whether I do not because that's not between me and you. It's between me, my wife, and everything else out here in the wilderness. <laughs> so, sorry brothers and sisters, I ain't gonna tell you. Uh, but I do, I am looking forward to, to uh, your comment. And that doesn't mean that you can't tell me. Look, most of the time, look, here's the God's honest truth. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. <laughs> right? Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. When I'm going out with my wife, normally I do. 
when I'm going out by myself for just a short day hike or an overnighter, I'm probably not packing any heat. Maybe I'll have something in the truck, but not on my person uh, for the most part. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Let me know what you do. Do you do? Sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. Do you do all the time? Do you never of the time? Hey, again, leave some comments down below so we can keep this conversation rolling so we can master our fuel craft and develop our tactical virtue. Before we get out of here, let's get a quick shout out from our sponsor. Come on now. Let me let me let me know what you think about that sponsor. Oh, too bad they only pays my paycheck. <laughs> hey man, y'all stay out there. You keep getting after it, and and uh, man, we'll continue to, to to keep grinding together as a community. I appreciate all you guys, every single one of y'all. We've been doing this for a long time now, uh, not that long, but we're we're starting to get some old hats in here, and I appreciate the quality of the conversation that we have down in the comments below some of the emails that we've had back and forth and we'll keep doing this right because it's you out there watching right now yeah brother man you thank you for watching for being a part of this community thank you for being out there doing what you do make sure you know as, as we keep going man don't don't forget that that you're appreciated just because i'm on this side of the of the camera doesn't mean i don't appreciate you because if it wasn't for you watching, liking, subscribing, sharing, leaving comments, now all of this would be for nothing. Now I enjoy it, and, and even if you weren't here, I'd probably still do it because I'm, I'm a stubborn knucklehead, but I do. I enjoy the, the community that we're building. Until then, man, you stay out there and you stay stoked. <laughs>